Improving your English skills at home alone can be very challenging. I know, but it's definitely possible with a proper mindset and right methods. That's why I'm here, guys. Welcome to my channel. I want to show you today three steps you can take to improve your English all on your own at home. I am a non-native English speaker, so today I will show you how I practice my language skills every single day. Let's go! In this video, I'll also explain what input and output are and why it's so important to understand it while learning English. You know, I've noticed that a lot of English students don't progress because they focus on wrong things. Obviously, it's also about me. I was doing wrong things, that's why I wasn't improving. Then I understood this one thing that I'm going to share in this video and everything has changed. Before we start, we need to make something clear. You need to enjoy the process. Enjoyment, excitement, engagement. Most probably you already know that. Forcing yourself is not gonna work for so long. So the easiest thing is to connect English with your interests, hobbies, passion. Let me give you an example, which is me. I'm really excited and passionate about psychology, spirituality, self-development, different methods to work with traumas and stuff. You know, whatever book I read, whatever YouTube video I watch, whatever series I watch, I try to connect it to that. What I want you to do is to answer this question. What excites you? What gives you that fire inside? Okay guys, once we have that clear, step number one, build your vocabulary. Try to learn new words every day and it's you who need to find the method. So as I said before, it needs to be really exciting for you. You can use variety of sources online. For example, language apps to improve vocabulary. You can visit my Instagram and TikTok where I post short videos every single day with enormous amount of vocabulary. You can watch your favorite YouTubers, series, movies. You can scroll social media, find your way, but build your vocabulary. Learn from five to 10 words every single day. Maybe it sounds overwhelming, if it does sound overwhelming, just learn less. Sometimes less is more. Aha, uh -huh. really important thing when it comes to learning new vocabulary. Pay attention to sounds and pronunciation of each word that you come across. You know, English is not a phonetic language. We don't read what we see, actually. So we need to master the sounds. And it smoothly leads me to my next point, which is strictly connected to beautiful pronunciation. Step number two, in which we are going to connect input and output. First of all, what are these? Input is what we've just discussed, receiving the information, learning new things, listening to new things. Output is producing the language on your own, which is the most crucial step in our English journey. We need to put the biggest focus on that, on producing. When do we produce a language? When we speak, and write. So in step number two, we want to connect input, listening, and output, speaking. The magic method is to listen to English audio content, podcasts, audiobooks, music, movies, series, whatever you want. And, 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 and guys, at the same time, repeat after native speakers. We want to repeat after native speakers what we hear. We want to try to mimic the pronunciation and the intonation. I was joking, guys, with this magic method. It's not a magic method. It's called shadowing. Now let's jump to my other video, which was fully dedicated to shadowing method. Please try to observe every single detail. You want to make out? Anyway, you want to make out? Anyway, you want to make out? One more time. Anyway, you want to make out? Anyway, you want to make out? Anyway, you want to make out? Pay attention that here we have stop T. Out. I don't say out. I mean, she, she doesn't say out. It's just make out. They're always going to tell you they don't need toner, but that's okay. They're always going to tell you that they don't need toner, but that's okay. One more time. I need one more time. They're always going to tell you that they don't need toner, but that's okay. I would be raising my voice to you, okay? I don't want to check my bag, okay? This would be raising my voice to you, okay? Okay? I don't want to check my bag, okay? By the way, your airline, you suck at checking bags. Okay? Bags. So, what's my conclusion? When we have a question, we raise the intonation, okay? And on the other hand, when we have an affirmative sentence, we put our voice down, bags. I really do hope you get the idea. 
Remember to always say everything out loud. You need to produce the sound. You know what? You can also record yourself with your cell phone and then listen back and try to identify um, the changes in pronunciation, in intonation. Shadowing works very well for me. Even when I scroll my social media, I try to shadow like this. There is one American guy, he's from California, I guess, and he has a beautiful accent, just it's stunning. So I always try to shadow him. I've just seen that he posted some stories. Let's do it together, guys. So on days like today. So the days like today. So the days like today. Where it's kind of cloudy. No. When it's kind of cloudy. When it's kind of cloudy. Kind of cloudy. Yes, so as you see, I try to even shadow the speed of his speech and of course the reductions. Kinda stands for kind of. And I use red light therapy. It's called and I use red and I use red light therapy. And I use red light. And I use red light therapy. So as you see, sometimes it's too fast. So I need to repeat over, over and over again. It's okay, it's part of the deal. It can be even funny. One more absolutely significant thing. Before shadowing, try to choose which accent you actually like. I'm obsessed with American accent. But maybe actually you love Australian accent or you enjoy British accent or you enjoy some other accent. There are plenty of them. Step number three, writing. And now my question to you. Writing is input or output. Do you remember? You receive or you produce? Obviously you produce, so it's output. So the final and third step to improve your English skills at home is writing. On the contrary to speaking, writing is a great way to improve your grammar and sentence structure. And as you can see, I have my journal here and I want to show you something. Just take your pen, take your journal and start writing. It can be also a digital version, doesn't have to be paper. I like it, but maybe you don't. So you can take your cell phone or whatever and just write. You can describe your day, thoughts, your hobby, whatever you want. In the beginning, at least, please don't worry about making mistakes. Just focus on writing and expressing your thoughts. And then once you have it, once you wrote what you wanted to write, you can, of course, go to online resources. You can open dictionaries, you can check your grammar. So this is what we do. First of all, we express ourselves, we just let it go on the paper and then Google, check the mistakes. And obviously, I think I don't have to say that, but learn from them. Guys, overall, improving your English skills at home requires regularity. Yes, you need to do it regularly. Every single day or at least from Monday to Friday, it doesn't have to be long time. It can be just from 10 to 15 minutes, but as I've mentioned before, once you enjoy it, you want to do it more and more. So make sure that you choose sources that you like. Yes, open Netflix and choose the topics you like and learn like this. Because honestly, by practicing with love and enjoyment, we will see the results pretty soon. And I can promise you that from my own experience. I'm looking for my book to show you. You know, as I mentioned before, I love spirituality, psychology and stuff. So I decided to read in English, right? So it really helped me. You don't have to do that because not everybody likes reading, obviously. But just a suggestion. I got really excited. I'm learning new stuff. I'm discovering myself thanks to English. English opened me for so many sources, for so many uh, spiritual coaches, spiritual teachers. Um, without English, I wouldn't be able to understand them. So keep going, don't give up. Enjoy it and thanks for watching. Guys, let me know in the comments if it resonates with you. What's your opinion about it? Would you add something? Would you like to suggest something? I'm really open for a conversation and it would be a pleasure to chat with you in the comment section. If you can take something for yourself from this video, consider subscribing to this channel and maybe give this video a like. Last and absolutely not least, obviously, as I said in this video, you can improve your English speaking at home alone absolutely for free. Yes, you can do it. But if for some reason you would like to work with me in a personalized way, you are really welcome. 
During my one-to-one -one classes, I share exclusive tips with you that I don't share anywhere on my social media. I use modern teaching methods and classes are always strictly adapted to your needs. So if you want to have a private English coach, why wait? Write me an email or sign up for my course. Check it out! Would you like to take your English to the next level by having one-to-one -one meetings with me? I've created something especially for you. My 8 weeks program is going to change your life. You are going to sound natural, learn English in funny, creative way, using examples taken from real life. What's more, you are going to forget about memorizing boring grammar rules. So, if you wish to start exploring the world with the practical knowledge of English, the link is in the description down below. Lots of love and hope to see you soon. See you in the next one. Bye!